Hello. Welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you're happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about the bone marrow diseases, what you need to know. This video is for educational purposes only, and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Blood cells, including red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets, are produced by immature bone marrow cells. In fact, the most minor problem in this part of the body will have many effects, such as infections, cancer, anemia, etc. Of course, some bone marrow disorders are inherited or caused by disease during pregnancy. Still, in any case, it is necessary to be under the supervision of a specialist if you see signs that indicate a bone marrow disorder. In this video, we are going to be sharing with you all you need to know about this disorder. So, stay tuned with us. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Most of these problems can be treated if you do not start treatment late. Dear parents, take this issue seriously and be sure to do your childhood examinations every month to check their health. Bone marrow disorders are diseases that affect the bone marrow. These disorders affect blood cells. An example of a bone marrow disorder is cancer. Bone marrow is a soft adipose tissue found in the central spongy part of the bones throughout the skeleton. It is the main producer of white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. Bone marrow contains hematopoietic stem cells, immature cells that can differentiate and mature in white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets if necessary. This process takes place in a series of stages. The bone marrow typically contains fully mature cells and cells at each stage of development, immature precursors. Normally, only fully mature cells are released from the bone marrow into the bloodstream. What are bone marrow disorders? Several diseases or conditions can affect the structure and function of the bone marrow, which are called bone marrow disorders. This, in turn, can affect the production or function of any blood cells or their immature precursors. Disorders of the bone marrow and blood cells that result from it can be very minor and cause mild or nonspecific symptoms over a long period of time, or they can be severe and life-threatening. Some chronic diseases can only be diagnosed at annual checkups when a complete blood count CBC, is done as a general health check. The CBC test is a routine blood test used to count blood cells. On the other hand, acute conditions can cause serious symptoms associated with too much or too few blood cells, indicating a severe illness of bone marrow disorders. Some of the most common bone marrow disorders are. Bone marrow cannot produce one or more cell types, for example, aplastic anemia. Adequate amounts of nutrients such as iron, vitamin B12, or folate affect the bone marrow's ability to produce normal red blood cells. The ones that are made may be small, microcytic, large, macrocytic, or the amount of hemoglobin in them may be low, pale. White blood cells such as abnormal lymphocytes or plasma cells are overproduced, for example, lymphomas, multiple myelomas. Bone marrow infections can be caused by viruses, bacteria, or fungi and affect cell production. One or more cell types may begin to produce more. Bone marrow produces abnormal cells that do not mature and do not work correctly, for example, leukemias, myelodysplastic syndrome. Another bone marrow disorder is that the network of supporting fibrous tissue in the bone marrow increases and compresses the cells inside the brain, resulting in abnormally shaped cells and small cells, for example, myelofibrosis. Cancer may spread from other parts of the body, metastasis, to the bone marrow and affect cell production. Types of bone marrow disorders. The following is a list of some of the conditions and diseases that can affect the structure and function of the bone marrow and cause bone marrow disorders. Leukemia, it is called white blood cell cancer, which can affect any of the five types of WBCs and is a type of bone marrow disorder. It occurs suddenly, acute, or over a longer period of time, chronic. It may involve myeloid cells, neutrophils, monocytes, eosinophils, basophils, and their precursors, or lymphocytes. 
It starts with an abnormal cell that continues to clone continuously. The resulting leukemia cells do not function normally. They do not fight infections, producing normal WBCs, and red blood cells, RBCs and platelets. People with leukemia may have recurrent infections, fatigue, bleeding, bruising, anemia, night sweats, and bone and joint pain. Spleen, which filters the blood and removes old cells, may enlarge, as may this species' liver and lymph nodes. This can be accompanied by an increase or decrease in the number of other blood cells, which may become inhibited. This leads to symptoms associated with blood cell overproduction, deficiencies, and dysfunction in the body. Myelodysplastic syndromes, MDS, a group of diseases caused by abnormal production of bone marrow cells and is a type of bone marrow disorder. Often with MDS, the brain appears to produce many blood cells. Still, they are defective and die before they can be released into the bloodstream, dysfunctionally. This can lead to symptoms of anemia, infection, or excessive bleeding and bruising. Anemia, low neutrophil counts, neutropenia, or thrombocytopenia that do not respond to treatment, reflex, sometimes require one person to receive blood. Dysplasia, the appearance of an abnormal cell, dysplasia, in one or more cell lines. Increased immature precursors, blasts, in the brain, with risk of acute myeloid leukemia. Plasma cell disorders, such as multiple myeloma are conditions that are accompanied by the overproduction of a single clone of fully mature B cells, lateral differentiation, called plasma cells. The primary function of plasma cells is to produce the protein-targeted immunoglobulin antibody, which helps protect the body against infections. Plasma cells usually are produced when needed. Sometimes, plasma cells can become malignant and divide uncontrollably, having large numbers of themselves, clones, that form bone marrow tumors and shrink other types of normal cells. Cancers that do not develop in the bone marrow, such as lung cancer, breast cancer, or lymphoma, can spread to the bone marrow, metastasize, or involve the bone marrow, affecting cell production and causing a variety of bone marrow disorders. The information in this video should not be used as a substitute for professional medical care or advice. Contact a healthcare provider if you have questions about your health. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.